Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to a brand new live stream today here on Code Pizza, and welcome, realistically, to our very first zombies or new zombies game of 2024. Uh, dude, today's gonna be an absolute blast. If you have no idea what we're doing today, we are gonna be playing a game called Skur Ritual. Now, I have seen so much about this game, probably over the past like six months. And I got word of a potential sponsorship uh, deal, which today is a sponsored video. And I got word of this a couple of months ago. And I thought, even though it's been so freaking difficult, I've wanted to play this game and play the demo on my Xbox so much. And I have held off. I have held off. And even I got sent the game last week and I've held off playing it because I wanted this playthrough right here that we're going to do for the next two hours to be as genuine as possible. But I do know stuff about this game, even though we're going to experience this all together uh, for the first time. I, I, what I do know about this game is that it's really, really basically been taken from the core of what Call of Duty Zombies originally was, and they have built up that to this. It is, it sounds incredible. There's Easter eggs, there's boss fights, there's hidden stuff around the maps, there's hidden uh, objectives, there is different zombie types. It's not like just one set of zombies and, and like that, and it's all round based as well as Easter egg quests. I think this is the answer to what everyone wanted Call of Duty to be after BO1 and BO2 zombies. And they have built this from there and it's it, it looks incredible. Everything that I have been told about this game is good and uh, I'm freaking excited. Also, this <laughs> the music is so like evil it's great but it's it's a different vibe than our normally normal live streams right now which is gonna be great but we're gonna have a lot of fun so i've got the entire game right now i do not have the demo i'm playing the actual game which is great but you can play the demo right now this game it, it's gonna be dropping on eight, uh, april 8 oh, oh let me double check this i believe it's april 18th is it today let me just double check this uh but this is gonna be available on xbox Steam and also on PlayStation as well. Is it today? It's today. It releases today. You can actually play this game today, April 18th. Uh, yeah, I'm right with that. April 18th. Yeah, PS5, Xbox Series X, OS, and PC. Now, let me talk you through a little bit of the game before we jump into the gameplay right now as well. One thing that we should mention is that there will be a launch sale on Xbox and Steam. The Xbox sale uh, release will be a 10% discount. So if you're gonna get this on Xbox, you get 10% off. And also, if you're gonna be purchasing this on Steam via the link inside of the description right now, if you use my link, uh, you will be able to get 20% off Steam as well, which is freaking amazing as well. So we're gonna have a lot of freaking fun today. Uh, let me break down some of the main key points before we jump into it so we know exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So, on the base game, there's gonna be four episodes, each with their own map. And also, uh, we know that there's gonna be public lobbies as well as offline mode. You can play up to four people inside of a lobby or you can play with yourself. I will be playing with myself today, of course, because no friends kinda sucks, but soon I'll be able to play with a lot of you guys inside of the chats. Obviously, we've got loads of Easter eggs as well. They say that you can make your way through. It's very similar to like old school Call of Duty Zombies vibes. Like you can play round base as much as you want, or you can do the Easter egg. And as well as that, we take uh, we go back to more of a traditional zombie stance at the end of the Easter eggs where you can carry on doing round base afterwards instead of what we've had recently, which I don't really like, where when you beat the Easter egg, the map ends. Uh, so it's really, really good as well. And we've got boss fights inside here. Oh, I've got so much fun, man. I'm really, really excited to jump into it. Once again, you can get this on Xbox, you can get this on PlayStation, or you can get it on PC and it releases today, which is going to be great. It's called Skur Ritual, and I'm freaking excited to play this, dude. Scrolling inside of the chat. Thank you very much for the 25 Five month membership renewal, good to again saying good luck, pizza. Have an awesome day, dude. I'm gonna have so much freaking fun. The game is inside of the description, it's the top link inside of the description right now, and it will take you directly over via my link to get your way over to Steam. Now, like I said, so much inspiration from this game has come 
from the dev team on uh, that worked on this game has come from Call of Duty. So basically, old school Call of Duty, what they wanted that to go on from. Um, and it just... Oh, dude, I'm so excited to jump into this. And let me tell you, it's been freaking difficult for me not to play this just because of how many people have told me about this. Um, not just recently, but, you know, going over the past, like, six months, I have heard so, so much about this game. So, I guess we go on solo. These are our four things right here as well. So, we got Cursed Lands of Lavernock. We've got the Ashes of Skur Hotel. Dude, I like that a lot. We got the Sewers of the Dead, and we've got Deadly Lover's Fortress. I think it'd be really, really, um, it'd be unfortunate of me if I didn't do these in order. So we will do these in order, and we'll start with this, the Cursed Lands of Lavernug. And also, what I, oh, now this is it, in it, really? Do we do a beginner playthrough right now? Uh, or do we do a normal playthrough? I don't think there's increased cost of, that's just cost of items. Standard enemies with re, will receive special abilities. Okay, we'll play normal. We'll play normal. I trust my instincts right now. Also, Pack-a-Punch. Look at that. I saw an image of this when I was making the thumbnail. There's like actual so many elements of it. Like I've, I've seen just from looking at images online, there's like all drops, like double, t uh, double points and stuff. Oh my God, this is great. Can I, um, can I, uh, change the, let's see, let's see real quick, can we make this slightly, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we can change the FOV on this, uh, if not, that's absolutely fine, let's see, I don't think we can, if we can, you can let me know during our playthrough, but let's make, dude, just look at this. This is Lavernock Point. One of her radio towers is here. Dude, don't it look great? Also, so perks, look find at this. And destroy it. I'm assuming this is this is quick revive. Afterlife. And it's interesting, man, because we can't just, oh my god, this is actually really, really good. They are, they are, I love how quickly they start right now. Um the difference here is that if that is quick revive, then it's five thousand points straight off the bat. Also, if, oh, there we go, we got our first drop. These miracles make you stronger. Faster, miracles. Better. It says I've got a miracle. Let's see. Miracle. Select new miracle. Oh, dude, this is sick. They've got, like, actual special abilities. Oh, dude, speed elixir. Oh, speed stab. Increase the speed of a melee. Increase the speed. Oh, dude, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so it's for 20 seconds. It's so limited. I feel like I need to change my sensitivity a little bit. Yoshino. A well yeah. game development studio. Yeah. I absolutely love their especially made of square where the enemies are from. Music oh, dude. Hard. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, so Wales Interactive, I've actually seen a lot of them throughout the years as well in different, uh, different areas of game production. And, uh, I, I like it a lot. I think it's a really. My homeland. I, I like the UK a lot. Pick up Wales. <laughs> but, man, this looks safe. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I had to restrain myself from playing this a lot. I play a lot of Xbox in my spare time, and this is something I wanted to... Oh, my God. Okay, we'll get it. We're, we're learning everything together. You have 5,000. Is this another perk over here? Ooh, ammo blammo. Oh, just... Dude, nice! Okay, so we've actually got a resupply. And this is what I'm talking about. When we started talking about what we were doing today, I, I was really excited because when I read everything to do about this game, it was all about taking inspiration from the old school Call of Duty and where we've lost our way with COD in our, in, in our recent years with just having ammo boxes on the floor when if you look back to World at War with some perks that got caught, you know, we had the Ammomatic Machine, an actual machine that looked freaking incredible. And you could get ammo from there. And this is exactly what I like the look of here. You can buy ammo for 250. It's a real render thing instead of just a box on the ground. There's so many different things that Call of Duty have just lost their way, lost their soul a little bit in terms of what we've made. I think we should save a zombie here, maybe. We'll go and have a look around here and see if there's anything I can actually interact with and have a look around right now as well. I'm not sure if the FOV can be changed. I'll, I'll have to have a look. I did look at the interface before. I'm waiting to see if anyone can say. We can definitely change the FOV and so much more. Oh, right. Wales Interactive, you tell me. You tell me. We've actually got Wales Interactive in chat, inside of the chat right now. Let's see. Let me double check this. Let me double check the FOV because I need that FOV out. I need the FOV so, so out. Also, one thing you got to remember, I am so, so bad with, uh, with computers. Just slightly, slightly bad with PCs. So I always lose my way along the way here. I'm trying to figure this out. C can I change it in graphical options? Oh, we've got a scroll bar. Right, let me change this. Let me change it. Thank you very much. 
Field of view. There we go. That's what we're talking about. I love that. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, we got frame rate. I'll keep everything the same. I don't want to go crazy here. Render scale. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay. We're looking good. Image sharpening. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, this is great. Texture streaming. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. There you go. Motion blur. Oh, okay. Motion blur. Let's let's turn it off because I know people while, while we stream always... Uh, I'm gonna turn film grain off. If it's any... Ooh, we got, dude, bloom. There's so much stuff here. Holy crap. I'm gonna turn blur off as well. Okay, let's go with that. Did I save that? I think I saved it. I definitely saved that, right? Yeah, I did, and it feels way better already. Oh, here we go. Ooh, right. We got another miracle. So, from what I get, I'm learning as we go here, because I didn't want to do all this and, and learn off stream. So, what I'm learning here, increase rate of fire by 8%, absolute, oh my, this is what we're talking about! This is, it's just all about having little bits of personality thrown into the games instead of them just being dumb boxes on the ground as ammo or little, or, you know, did I, I even thought about the perk. Did, did we need perk bottles to be changed into cans? Was that necessary? I don't know. But just little things like that. So freaking great along the way, right? Okay, cool. I will I will save a zombie at the end of this round, and we are going to have a little discovery over here as well. I'm going to actually use a miracle now that we've got another one dropped right there as well. I don't want to have two. Let's go. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. It pauses. Dude, tornado? Create fire tornado and it has a chance to set enemies on fire by a radius of for five seconds. All right, let's have a look at this. Dude, this is sick. This is genuinely incredible. And yes, it does. You can play multiplayer. Obviously, the game comes out today, April 18th. Oh, we got a boss. And the game comes out today, April 18th. So you will be able to jump on with your buddies if you get two people inside of uh, your game. Up to four players up. Up to, okay, I'm, I definitely need to look around for a different weapon. Jeez. Open the door. Let me out of here. Like, dude, dude, I cannot stay inside of there with this boss zombie. I need to go and find another weapon real quick and get rid of my Colt 911. Or oh, the MX-1910. Let's see. If I can find one more weapon before this round starts, that'd be, that'd be great. I'm also very intrigued to see how they've done weapons as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, chill, 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 chill. I'm also very intrigued to see how they've done weapons. Whether it's going to be a war buy, whether it's going to be a box, whether it's just going to be something on the ground. I don't know, dude. Look at these enemy types. I feel like I may be a little bit out of my depth right here. I might have to train around a little bit and just see if we can get a horde together and get rid of them all in one go and figure out what we're doing from there. Dude, just look how nice it looks as well. The graphics are freaking insane. I'm actually kind of hyped to get some of my Xbox when I finish as well. I play so much Xbox in my spare time that I'll be playing this tonight. <laughs> if any of you all want to jump on Xbox tonight and play some multiplayer, I'm so down. Let's go. I'll be playing this all night on my Xbox. So. <laughs> right. I think. Ah, I flipped the round as well. I, mean, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wonder if. I wonder if. There you go. Let's go for a miracle. I'm so happy it pauses when you're on here as well. Health bomb. Let's go with that. Dude, how long they try and figure out where these weapons are? Let's go. Yeah, top of the description. If you do want to download the game, you can go uh, via the top link inside the description. Once again, if you are getting this on Xbox, uh, there is a release day sale. I, I, it should be live as of today, the 18th. Uh, Xbox gets 10% off the game on purchase. And if you get it on Steam, you have up to, uh, you have 20% off if you get it on Steam. I will be getting a weapon in a second. I will definitely be getting a weapon in a second. Another doorway. Thank you. Let me three, please. Ooh, this door's a little bit slower. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am still trying to figure out. I'm trying to get a grasp on this. For game one, I think I'm doing pretty well, though. I'm going to get a grasp of where these weapons are and where I can get weapons from. All right, that's my health bomb that I just used right there. I like that he's following me around like George Romero from Call of the Dead. Okay, that was my special ability, I think. Train, train, train. I need someone to get some ammo, dude. Sudden death? Is that for me or them? I'm assuming that's like insta-kill, but I don't. Let's let's have a look. 
Yeah, it is. Good. Right. So, sudden death is our insta-kill. Brilliant. I keep on flipping rounds by accident instead of saving a zombie. It's it's the boss zombie that's pointing me off, man. I keep on thinking that he's going to be part of the round flip or not. Is there a main quest? There is, yeah. Main quest, a full Easter egg and main quest. And the good thing that they've said inside of the notes as well, which is guaranteed, that if on every single map there are main quests, but you will be able to continue your round-based progression after you finish the main quest as well. It's not like the new style of Call of Duty, where, like I said, I, I don't like it that much on Call of Duty, where at the moment with like Cold, uh, with, with like, uh, Cold War, and hopefully going forward we don't have it either, where when you finish the quest, that's the end. You get a cutscene at the end of the game. I don't like that. It takes away, like, when we used to get a reward, like a Pergaholic, for finishing the Easter egg, and then you could finish, carry on with rounds. How good was that? It meant that you could play the game through the Easter egg and keep on going for hours and hours and hours. And with this, you have that. You have it where you can finish the uh, finish the Easter egg quest and keep going for high rounds right here. We are in round seven right now, which is freaking great. I'm still trying to figure out where the heck these weapons are. Well, figuring out is that. Ooh, okay. Good, right. We're figuring it out. My brain is working. My brain's going right there. So we have those. Those are like uh, electrified terminals. And I think by getting rid of those, I'll unlock the doors around the map for us inside of these areas. And we will. We'll have a look at that in a second. I will save a zombie this round. Guaranteeing it. Guaranteeing one zombie save this round. We're also going to have melee as well. Have I got any miracles? I do not have any miracles. <laughs> No miracles yet, and I don't want to go into any dead ends, so I think we are going to just keep on getting ammo I think with this and save a zombie and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> this game is called Skur Ritual. It's available today as of today's release date on Steam, on Xbox, and also I flipped around because of the boomer, I think. Maybe we get rid of this guy. Maybe that's the play. Uh, available on Xbox, PlayStation, and also... Oh, he's gone, weirdly. Uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and also on Steam. And if you get it on Steam, it's 20% uh, off Xbox. It's 10% off. And there you go. Is that door open? No. Right. So we need to go and find all of them. All the generators inside of this area. All the generators. No fancy movement. I didn't even check it out. Look at that. We've got slide ability right there. Is that Jug? Is that Jug? Oh, let's go! All right, we've got Jug. Elixir of life. That has to be Jug. And we can see our perks at the bottom right there as well. So even though I've not got another weapon yet, we are making our way through this relatively good. Run round eight, and I still have the starting pistol. I will find more weapons soon. And now I've discovered the slide attack. There's no way that I'm going down. We are all good. We will be saving a zombie here, and I will be figuring this out. Looks like I'm getting this later. Let's go. Let's go. See, I'm telling you. And it, once again, if you guys already have me on Xbox, I'll be playing this all night on Xbox. Like, I will. As soon as I finish this. Oh, my God. Look at this dude. It's, oh my goodness. Dude, he's shooting laser beams. He's an old school deep sea diver. In one of those old school deep sea divers outfits. Firing laser beams from his freaking head, dude. Incredible. Absolutely insane. Right, we do have another one of these. Can I melee this? I can I can. I don't think I should mess around there too much. Is that infinite ammo? Let's go. Right, that's... Wait, whoa. Maybe I have to have ammo to use infinite ammo. Okay, we'll go and get it. Let me use this. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Let's go. I've got one miracle available as well, which I will be using relatively soon. I think I just retrieved ammo off the ground as well. I know I hit the machine, but just before then, I think I got ammo from a dead zombie, which is brilliant. And there's a max ammo right there as well waiting for me too. My goodness, they've done this game good. They've done this game really good. Holy crap. Right. First things first, I need to get rid of the boomer away from all the zombies. Hopefully not flip the round, which I think I've now done. Still on round eight. Is this the final zombie of the round? I think he is. Right. I'm not going to kill him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep him going. Now, my Easter egg brain is already ticking. My Easter egg brain is already ticking. And I can guarantee you there will be something in this game that I need this guy to shoot his freaking laser beam at to unlock something. And I will be discovering that at some point today. <laughs> I can already tell you, I'm a genius. I already know. Right, I think I must have one more of these available somewhere and then surely that door will open. Let's go and see, if, can I go in this way? I can go in here. That's, this is where I bought Jug from, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the power right there as well, maybe. Oh, there you go. Is he right next to me? He is indeed. Right, let's not do that, but I can probably target this from a little bit of distance. Almost, almost. I've got like one more to go. One clip to go on that. There you go. Is that done? Is it just three? 
Ooh, it's not just three. Right, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. This is called Skur Ritual. This is called Skur Ritual. It's a game that I, I've said this a few times today. It's a game that I have heard so much about for like the past six months. Um, and everyone has been asking me to play it on stream as well. I've had the odd few people come in and say like, Hey, Peter, I've discovered this new game. I've discovered this demo on Xbox. You need to play it. And, uh, and I really, really wanted to. But I've decided... Ooh, that's Afterlife! Oh my goodness, you can go and revive players from there. Sick. Um, so yeah, I've heard a lot about it and everyone's been asking me to play it. I've, I've put myself off from doing that because I heard that I might have a sponsored stream. And whenever I do sponsored streams and stuff like that, I want to make sure that everything is legit. There we go. Let's go, dude. Story mission. Completed objective right there. We've unlocked this door. So, dude, I'm actually doing pretty good for the first playthrough. Right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I like to always give my first genuine impression whenever we do sponsored stuff. Otherwise, I feel like it, it can come across really fake, and I don't like that. I, I like watching people. I kind of do my kind of take on things the way that I would want to watch other people that have been sponsored by stuff. So, uh, I... Give me a sec. No, that wasn't it, but I was, that was a good effort, great effort. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that today was a brand new thing. I didn't want to jump into this already knowing anything about it. I wanted it to be fresh and I'm freaking enjoying myself so far. It's kind of sad that this is a two hour stream instead of like a three hour one. I could keep going. Uh, we've got a long time to go. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, this is good. So we can now buy weapons from here. I'm just going to keep this guy alive and train him around a bit while we have a look around right now and then we see. I can guarantee you that I'll be playing this tonight. At the, dude, you, I can guarantee you. I play Xbox every single night. Oh, he's blood out, he's blood out. I play Xbox every single night, and at the minute I've been playing through Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but that can wait, I'm playing this tonight. And I'm very excited to play it as well. Let me go and get a weapon. I need to find that room again. Is it over here? This reminds me of Transit on the cornfield. <laughs> a thousand, 150, right, we're going, we're going all awesome. Can I get two? Oh, I've not got enough points for it. Maybe next time. All right, let's go. We got another sketch from Elizabeth right there as well. Oh my goodness. That was strange. Now, I'm a little bit naive to go down there. I don't want to go into that area just yet. Number one, I would assume that I'm boxed in then. Number two, I'm very aware that I've not had a good look around this area yet. And I don't know if there's any. Oh my goodness. Thought I'd box myself in there. I'm very aware that I've not had a good look at and a good route around this area yet, so I'm not entirely sure if I've missed anything. So we're just gonna hold back a sec. I'm gonna try and save a zombie here. And we'll figure out where we're going from there. Once again, this game is called Skur Ritual, and it's available as of today, April 18th, on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5. Dude, we are getting so many. And also Steam PC. If you want to get the, uh, oh my goodness, dude, this is insane. <laughs> you can save 20% if you get this game on Steam today. You can also get it 10% off if you get it on Xbox as well. And once again, if you are, uh, if you, if you are liking the look of this right now, that's because the dev team over at Wales Interactive wanted to make basically what they wanted Call of Duty to be before they Call of Duty kind of changed directions after like BO1, BO2. And they wanted it to be like Easter eggs and like all this insane stuff that actually has a lot of personality about it. Um, and this is great so far. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. We do need to have a good look around. I think I've opened most doors that I've come to so far. But I am going to say... Time remaining. me. Whoa, stop the elite. Is this the elite? That's not the elite naked. Go, 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 go. I've got 13 seconds. I, he must be down there, man. Is he? Or maybe, maybe that is him. I hope I don't fail if I don't do this challenging zone. Is that another note? Yeah, let's grab that. Thank you very much. We've got another note right there. Okay, so. I feel like I failed that challenge, but that's fine. Trial failed? Nah, it's all good. It's all good. I assume we would have just got rewards. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Who is this man? My goodness. The abomination was summoned. The abomination was summoned because I failed my objective right there. Let me do our... Uh... Give myself some health back real quick. I I'm kind of wanting to go and get the shotgun as well. Thank you very much. Right, we've got the shotgun and we've got... There we go. That might be a bit better right now. Also, what is that? We 
We've got like a kind of like a crypt over there, maybe that I can go into. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. I knew I was about to flip around right there. Knew it, absolutely knew it. But we're gonna go down in the underground area in just a second. We save a zombie. I should probably start using these miracle points. Actually, fire stab, scream fire, increase damage. Yeah, let's do that. And our other one is going to be. I'm gonna hold on to that miracle. I'm gonna hold on to the other miracle real quick until I uh, until I get rid of this guy. I think. Holy crap, look at this. See, this is what we need, man. I've been saying this for so, so long in all the zombie games that we're playing. It needs personality, it needs vibrancy. You need these different ammo types that do these different colored things. Like, just having something visually stimulating on the screen instead of the same, like, grayish style is so much better. I feel like I'm gonna get cornered here if I stay inside here. I need to get out. I need to find my way out of here and go back into the area. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. We're already at round 10 right now. This guy is just glowing more and more, and I have run out of ammo. Let's go and buy some real quick. Woo, baby, this is good! Okay, so we do have a full Easter egg in this. I am just making my way through the main objective right now, but to be able to. Holy crap. I'm actually getting quite lucky here, I think. I think I'm getting slightly lucky, baby. The last thing I want to do here is get cornered. No way, Hunter. We're good. He's nearly gone. Surely. Yeah, it's okay. We're gonna help. I think we're fine. And we save a zombie at the end of this round. Round 10 is going to be our, our way forward in this. Oh, get, grab that. Grab that. Insta-kill. Hell yeah, dude. Right, we got insta-kill on. I'm assuming it... Yeah, dude. Insta-kill does not work on boss zombies. And so it shouldn't. So it shouldn't. We don't want to cheese the entire round. Health, please. Thank you. That is what we're talking about, man. Just a little health boost. Is there a mystery box? Good question. I actually have no idea. Because I wanted to come into this and do like a, a straight up first time reaction. I have no idea. So you're learning everything along with me. And experiencing this for this for the very first time along with me as well. Right, we do have the boss in again. And we got one zombie left. We're going to go and have a look. Go in the underground chamber. Let's go. My goodness, this is good. <laughs> This is called, once again, everyone keeps asking what it's called. It's called Skur Ritual. And it's available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation as of today, April, uh, April 18th. Um, I, you know, you know me by now. I don't, I don't, I don't fake things. I don't do stuff like that. So if I'm enjoying something, you can tell that I'm enjoying something. Right, we're going in the underground bit. I've waited until I had one zombie left. Holy crap, this looks like labs. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna open as many rooms as I possibly can. Holy crap, this is insane. Wow, look at that! Look at that! Okay. So. I gotta assume here. Oh, we stop the Elite Maker? I do not wanna stop the Elite Maker. I wanna have a good look around and make sure I get my bearings before we go into the next round. Absolutely gotta get our bearings, dude. Don't want to risk anything here. Yeah, so, so I need to pin the name of the game. I just had the top link inside the description. And it also says the, the game that we're playing inside of the description as well. If you look at game being played. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is our room that we need to really have a good look at. Shock and load. Damages nearby zombies. Or nearby enemies on reload. Electric cherry. Brilliant. They, they, dude, it, they've taken every amazing aspect of old school zombies and turned it into a brand new experience. And I love that. It also... Oops. Life token. That was the thing we had before to revive other players, I guess. Okay. I would love to buy a legend, Sherry. And I'm assuming... Life token. You can't carry them anymore of those. So 5,000 for a life token? Let's open this doorway up and then I'm all out of ammo. Ooh. You know, the more and more... Ahead, the there's Pack a Punch. There's, the more and more we're playing this, the more you see elements of old school zombies that we all wanted back. Like, look at this. It's exactly the same as what we had in, like, mainstream Black Ops 3 when we had all the Cthulhu stuff. And the stuff from um, Lovecraft, it, it's just freaking unreal. Also, this is giving me massive Chamber of Secret vibes. And I am a huge Harry Potter fan. And we've also got 
Ooh, try your luck. Lucky the dog. Right, I've not got 900 points, but as soon as I do, I will be doing that. We've also got a brand new shotgun there as well, the RS-10, and a Pavlov as well. And pack a punch for 5,000, and probably Speed Cola. Yeah, Speed Cola there too. They've just got everything, haven't they? Right, we're doing a round down here, I guess. I need to get rid of these boss zombies, and then we'll probably do a round down in this area. Probably before I flip the round right there, I should have had a look at where the closest max ammo is. Because I think I'm going to start struggling here soon. I think I'm going to really start struggling here. We've got one miracle available as well. <laughs> he says it's from 22. Yeah, so 2022 was that when they originally started putting out the beta and stuff. Like I said, I've seen... I've seen this game floating around my Xbox dashboard for so long. And I've just not got around to playing it. And when I did have the option of playing it... I heard rumors of sponsorship deals, and I was like, right, I, I, I want to give my my complete personal uh, first-time reaction of this game, playing it first time for you guys. I'm not, oh, I'm not already knowing everything about it. I feel like if you know everything about it, then it's not going to come across as genuine. But as a first-time playthrough right now, my god, I'm having fun. And you can kind of see, I'm playing on normal difficulty right now, and you can kind of see that anyone watching this live and anyone that's you know, has been on this channel for a while, uh, is already a, a pretty veteran zombie player, right? So you can see on normal difficulty, at bare minimum, I, I, if you're at my level, which you should be pretty close, if not better than me, um, well, round 11 already, right? And we're, we're decently into this. We've already been given our cues on what to do next over the left-hand side. We need to get the siren cylinder, get the Medusa cylinder. Oh my goodness. Get the Cerberus cylinder. See, this is all stuff. It just sounds fucking awesome, doesn't it? Having those mythological things inside of games, I love. It just adds so much more depth and lore to what you're playing. Instead of it just being fun. And hopefully, yeah, we do get like this kind of stuff added back into Call of Duty, but I tell you what, we've not had it for a while, and this is keeping filling my void right now with insanity of the one of one. Let's see what miracle we can use right now as well. Also. Oh, that's our special ability. I keep forgetting to use it. And I flipped around by accident. I guess we'll keep flipping until I manage to get rid of this beast. Oh, we might get lucky here. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I thought I could cheese the devs there. I can't. I thought we got lucky and we could kind of keep him there, but no. Kind of a little bit, which is good. Nice. Let's go. Okay. I'm, st I'm staying here, doing another round and saving Pack Punch. I want to see what Pack Punch looks like. Speed Caller is definitely going to be necessary soon as well, but we're good. We're really, really good right now as well. This is Skur Ritual, yes. It is Skur Ritual, and I'm enjoying it a lot. I am going to use another Miracle real quick, just to see if we can get something that's going to help us out. We can actually have Sprint, Spree Sprint Speed Elixir by 16% for 20 seconds. The Fire Damage Melee, or Inflict Poison on Quick Melee, and they last 10 seconds. I feel like I need to hold back on these. I feel like they're really, really... Unless I should use them. I don't know, I, 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 get, I get the idea that I should hold back on them and get something and, and use them when I'm like in desperate need of them. Because I feel like I'm pretty, pretty in control, but I feel like there will be a moment soon where I, I go very much not in control. Also, we just got a drop right there as well. Let's go and see what drop we got. And then we're going to pack plunge. We'll save a zombie at the end of this round and then we'll work on our actual quest right now as well. And that's perfect. One thing I haven't been looking at is let's just double check what they've got going on here. Yeah, so it's points per kill. Points per kill right there. So no no, no insane point building, which is good for this style of game. So points on kill, which we can actually pack a punch right now. I'm a bit wary whether I pack a punch now. Am I going to get my weapon taken up or not? And if I can get a little bit of extra money, we can get our next tier of weapon, I guess. I think we'll do. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think we buy our next tier of weapon over in this corner right now as well. Pickaxe, thank you very much. How much is that? Let's go with that. All right, we're pack punching this bad boy. We're pack punching this bad boy. Normally I love pack punching a shotgun, but we're pack punching this. Get the 5k. There we go. Let's go and see what pack punch is like. Hella intrigued. 5k. It's in there. Also, oh my god, dude, look at that. It's instant. Oh, brilliant. Right, we got instant. You don't even have to pick it back up again. And look at that. Dude, hell yeah, hell yeah, 5,000, and I'm assuming there's multiple tiers on this as well. You go back over to it, and we've got tier two, 
Nice. Okay. Let's have a good look around right now. Uh, how much is this door? Maybe do one more round? Maybe? If we did one more round right here, we would have... Yeah, let's do one more round. Let's just get the money that we need to open more doors up. I don't need to pack a punch in a minute. I feel pretty safe. I want to try Lucky the dog, though. I'm going to try Lucky the dog. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wales. It's right. I love you. I'm honestly in love with the game right now. That's lucky. He's such a faithful dog. Is he just taking my weapon? Has he just taken my weapon? Lucky the dog, you have just cost me six and a half thousand points. As well as the 900 that I just used on you. You are no faithful servant. I don't like you. I'm not using you again, Lucky. I'm straight back to my good old pistol I had at the start of the game. I'm not using you again. You betrayed me. No way. Right, well, we're gonna get. We're, I need to do an extra couple of rounds now. Lucky the dog. Oh, and this is where my gamble inside comes in and thinks, well, if I just get to 900 points again instead of saving the 6,000, I'll be able to use Lucky the dog again. He'll probably give me something really good. Well, that, it, most likely, he's gonna take everything off me, isn't he? <laughs> Lucky the dog. You are not the faithful servant I felt when you first were. I feel like I should use him again. Screw it, screw it. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Lucky the dog! Ah, give me a shotgun. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We'll take it, but I'm not using him again. He, 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 we might use him in a bit. When we have spare change, when we actually don't care about completing the objective, we can use Lucky the dog again. But for now, we need to save our money up. There's no way I can even survive right now without... Uh... But did, I wonder, did he pack a bunch of one? Or two? Surely just one. Yeah. I'm just a little bit thrown off with the uh, with the ammo that we're using right now, but I think it's because I used a certain miracle before that made my ammo different colors. Maybe? Not too sure. But we do have enough money to exit this area, which I think we should do. We're on round 14, right? I tell you what, let's open another doorway up and just see if we can progress slightly. We can always come back to this area in a second. But I am very wary that I don't want to get trapped in a certain place. Let's get that letter from Elizabeth right now as well. Another diary from Elizabeth's, uh, or another entry from Elizabeth's diary. Another door? Nice, right. Ooh. Okay. There's another Lucky the Dog. I like that Lucky the Dog can change locations. If I was friends with Lucky the Dog, I would definitely be happy about that he could be in every single room. Unfortunately for me... <laughs> Lucky the Dog and me, yeah, we got a, we got a weird history, man. I don't like him. <laughs> Maybe I'll grow to love that man. I don't know. But I want to have a look around at more birds. What about 14 around? I, I think, I think we, we're fully set up, man. We're looking good. Ooh, okay. Ooh, right, we got an axe. That seems like a, a decent trade. One thing I am wondering about, though. First things first. Is the, is the, is the starting pistol. I know it's made by an old school zombies loving crew over at Wales Interactive. So my first thought is, starting pistol, yay or nay, will it be explosive ammo? Am I cornered here? If we didn't have infinite ammo, I'd be so screwed. So there's a part of me that's thinking that, do I go and try and get the starting pistol back? And then go and pack a punch it, and hopefully, oh good, we weren't actually cornered. There is another letter from Elizabeth right there that I wanna grab too. Okay, let's get rid of the boomer. And that should be end of round. I hope. And then we go and have a look in a second. <laughs> oh, let's open this doorway. Okay, good. We're back. We're back to where we were, I hope. Oh, here we go. Well, that's definitely something. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Is the boomer gone? I think the boomer died. Right, let's get down here then. I, I have not finished down here yet. Starting pistol. Mustang and Sally's would be huge. I missed this letter from Elizabeth. Unless it wasn't. Oh, it was. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay. I need to get rid of the boomer without flipping around. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get me past. Thank you. And we're going to go and have a look here in a second. Let's see. Perfect. No round flip. We are good. Let's see what we've got here. Anything good? I think that is the starting pistol. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pack a punch the starting pistol. We're gonna do it, right? Absolutely, we're gonna do it. Let's go. I'm gonna pick up that pistol. I'm gonna get rid of our trench gun looking gun that we got from 
good old fashioned Lucky the dog. We're going to take our starting pistol back. And I'm going back to this room. We're so close to 5k that when we pack a punch this thing, I want to see if it's explosive. Then, my next thought has to come into play if it is. Will explosive damage hurt me? And is there PhD on the back? That's all I need to know after, after, after that. And I am not talking to this man again. This man can... I mean, he's not getting any dog treats for a solid week. Easy. Easy. But 5k points and we'll be good. And we're going to use a miracle in a second as well. We've got three of them available. And I might use it now while we've got this ridiculously OP guy in. What can we do? Fire tornado. Create a fire tornado. Let's do that. Let's do that. Absolutely. Let's do the fire tornado. You ready? Go. Nice. I love that it instantly kills the enemies. I'm not sure if it's damaged him at all, though. We've also got a maxi right here as well. But here we go. We're going to pack a bunch of the starting pistol. Let's see if this is going to do anything for us. Ooh. Is it explosive? Let's see. It's not. I'm actually quite surprised. Am I stuck? Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Can I get out of this? Jug. Ammo. Health. We're good with that round. Okay, we save a zombie at the end of this round. This pistol's actually color of the Oh my god. Look at the health. I want to see how good it is against the boss zombie, but we save a zombie at the end of this round, and then we go and explore. Because by that point, I will have done everything. I'll have a pack punch weapon. I'll be ready to go. We can start purchasing some more perks. Infinite ammo. We can go absolutely ham with this thing. I tell you what, getting the hang of using your uh, your health and stuff. I'm in that. I'm in that place right now. I'm in the place of making sure that I constantly drop extra health right there. There we go. It's gonna be all about perks soon as well. We're gonna go with this poison once again. You guys don't know what I'm playing. You're just tuning in. We're playing Skur Ritual. A brand new game releases today, April 18th. The dev team over at Wales Interactive were fans of the old school zombies. And they've implemented so many things that they love about that old school zombies vibe. You can see that there's points. You can see there's perks. I've accidentally flipped around again. We're really, uh... We're really seeing how bad I am at keeping zombies alive. <laughs> I'm more of a type of guy that likes to kill them. But, uh, yeah, they, they've, they've done so much, and there's four huge levels on release. This is only one of them. And you can get this on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. 10% off if you are getting it on Xbox, and 20% off if you're getting it on Steam. I'm actually highly considering... I need to go and get those. I need to save a zombie, man. I keep on forgetting. But I've only got 3,000 points. So end of this round, we save one, and then we get everything done right now as well. We save one, and we're good. We save one, we're good. Also, you can tell the love that's gone into this. Not just by the features that, you know, have been uh, made, recycled and made better from previous Call of Duty tiles, but also you can see the love that's gone into it just via the different enemy types. It's one thing that we've always not had inside of zombies. Like, I think if, if you look back at... Feel 4, you know, we, we we had different elemental types inside of the map, but not different models necessarily. And you look at Shangri-La, I always think of Shangri-La as the, the peak of where they, they decided to go with different enemy types. And we had like the, the Screamer Zombie and the Napalm. But you can see just in the middle of the round right now, I've got a ridiculous amount of enemies that I'm trying to deal with in a different way. We're going to save a zombie on this round, absolutely. I'm not pushing higher than 16 right now. And then we're going having a look around the map and discovering the rest of the things that we need to do. We need to make sure that we get the, uh, the Siren Cylinder, the Juicer Cylinder, Cerberus Cylinder, and the Hero Cylinder as well. The next four things that we've got to do. I reckon if I kill that Boomer, it'll flip the round. So I just need to try and get zombies a little bit of a distance away from me. And then get rid of the Boomer while I've got this one over here. Or zoom over to this guy and get rid of him over here. Right, he's like two hits off. So, we save a zombie near us. We kill the boom, you know, the boomer from afar. And he should have flipped around. There we go. Good. Good. Right. We've got big dude in. He walks slow. And we've got some zombies. Let's have a look around the map. Let's see what we can find right now. I think we're looking freaking great. So, let's follow our objectives that we have inside of the map right now and see if we can find what we need. We've got this over here, which is definitely one of them. It's opening up for us. Is, have I got to get souls in it? Oh my goodness, we've got a huge dude in here. Again. 
Let's see. I've got the tornado thing that I can use if I want. I feel like this might be sold. It seems a bit weird that there's a ring around it. It's got to be souls, right? I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and pack a punch. Instead of opening anything else up, we're going to go and pack a punch this shotgun. We're going to get rid of this guy. This huge ass guy. And then we're going to go and work on that cylinder right there as well. <laughs> it's so freaking great. So pack a punch for hard price? Really? Right, I need to have a look at that because every time I'm pack punching, it's a casual 5k. I'm on round 60. You can see how long you can play this one. I'm on round 16 right now. And I am. I barely sniff what we can do inside of this map at the minute. Mainly because I want to explore everything to buy, and I've still got so many perks I need to buy as well. But as soon as this big guy's gone. We'll go and have a look at that cylinder. And discover whether it's soul kills or we need to activate all of them. Or what it is. There's definitely another two that needs to be activated. Oh, stand in the area to open the furnace. Right, let me go and have a look. I keep on missing my objectives over the left-hand side because there's so much going on inside of the map. There you go. Nice, we're getting max ammo for killing him too. Okay, let's go and have a look. Let's see what we got going on over here. Let's see what this uh let's see what this furnace is all about. Baby! Okay. Oh, it opens up when I'm inside of this area. We can save this one. Save this one. I'll just have to train in this tiny ass area. <laughs> okay, good stuff. It's definitely open. Now my question is... Ooh, there you go. Ignite the furnace using the blaze... Oh, this guy? Holy crap, right, go, go, go. Nice, let's go! Right, I've got to do more, though. It's only 20% right now. There's another one. GG, GG, 40%. All right, let's just make sure that we trade. This is brilliant. Holy crap, this is what kind of Easter eggs we want in the games, man. This is great. Right, let's use them again. We're 40% in right now. I'm filling this up. Go on. Boom, thank you, 60. Go again. You get another one? Go on, one more, one more. Thank you, right, one more train and that'll be done 100% right now as well. This is freaking amazing. Right, final one right now to get this to 100% and then we'll see what happens when this furnace is full. Done, nice. Add fuel to the fire. Progress, 0%. I feel like it might be zombie kills. I think it might be like 10 zombie kills near it because it kind of looks like a... Oh, here we go. Entrails, right. Can I pick up entrails that I've, from zombies that I've already killed? Or can I pick up entrails? Is that all it is? Or is it ones that I'm going to be killing now is the question. Also, I'm going to have a good look around while I've got one zombie alive. Just see if we can find anything else inside of the map right now. My goal here is to absolutely get to pack punch level 3 while we're inside of here as well. Do I reach on health? You do reach on health, yeah. But at the minute, I am, I am in the... Uh, Amazing presence of a um, a tactical that will refill it quicker for me if I do end up getting close to uh, to dying. Boy, I'm a good look around right now to see if we can find anything else. We got ammo right there as well. Once again, it's all these little things, man. Just having personality back into these type of games is brilliant. We're not just looking at an ammo crate on the floor that we spend money on. It's not just a crate. You know, it's an actual something. That looks like Medusa right there. It's an actual something inside of the map, you know? Like, look at that. Increased speed. Reload speed. So you got speed cooler, I guess. How many points? Two, five. I've not got enough. If I had enough, I would probably buy it. Right, we're going to go with entrails. I'm going to have to assume that I'm killing zombies and then picking up their entrails. And I can't pick them up from ones I've already killed. So, it looks like we're definitely going to be on to flip the round right now. So, without further ado, did we get any from here? No, we didn't get any from the boomer. Interesting. But this is the ammo machine, by the way. It takes me back to all the drawings that we saw in World of War of the ammo-matic machine that we never got. Like, how this is what we're talking about when we're talking about we need more personality in these zombie games, man. Like, it's it's not just an ammo crate. It's a freaking full machine with a, with a logo and everything. It's brilliant. Okay, the question is, where are we getting entrails from? Are we just killing zombies? We 
I feel like we might just be getting into the kill zombies. Also, I'm very aware that I should not be down here. So, we're gonna kill zombies in another area and hopefully collect them there. And then we'll see. Then we'll see. That door is definitely Easter egg door. Definitely Easter egg door. Oh, look at that. It's now lighting up. Got it. I picked it up. It wasn't lighting up before, but now it was. I wonder what that was. I also am wondering who that is. Is that is that Elizabeth? Because I've not read any of the story yet. Because I wanted to do my first impressions on this playthrough. So that was very Easter eggy. I knew it was seemed a little bit Easter eggy and a little bit out of place when we originally saw it. But now it was glowing and I could pick it up. So it's... Begs the question, where the hell do we put it? I didn't get a prompt on the screen when I picked it up, so it's definitely a nice hidden quest right there. Round 17 right now. It's only one for the first playthrough. I'm not doing that bad. Not bad at all. Will we save a zombie here again, Tornado, please? Thank you. Nice little special ability to help the round clear out. And then we're gonna go and have a look and see. Oh, look at all these. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. We have entrails. We have collected entrails now. I wonder if it's kills or it is just using my ability of that, that fire. I wonder if it's my tornado ability that got me that. Or is it getting normal kills? I'm, I'm questioning that now. Just because I don't know if I saw them in the map until I used that. Okay. Maybe it was my tornado. I don't know. I don't think we've got 10 though. We got nine right now and I need 10. I need one more. I'm gonna kill another zombie. Did, did we get one there? No, I wonder if it was my tornado. Was it my tornado? Let's see. It must have been. I'm gonna have to wait for it to recharge to get the final entrail in. Oh, there's another one there. I, I reckon you can get them from him. I reckon you can get them from him as well. Let's go and add these 10 entrails to the fire and see what that does. Holy crap, man. This is freaking great. Once again, if you are seeing this for the first time and you don't know what that is, this game is called Skur Ritual. It releases today, April 18th, and it's available on Xbox Series X or S, the PlayStation, as well as PC as well. There's a link inside the description right now. The top link will take you to the Steam version of this game, where today you can get 20% off. If you're going to be getting it on PlayStation, I don't think there's any kind of release sale for it. But if you are getting it on Xbox, there is a 10% release sale. So if you do want to get it today, hey, there's some good old benefits to that too. Freaking hey, dude. I reckon it's fire kills, you know. You gotta take your time with it. You gotta take I don't think you can add them all at once, so I'm having to train around. I've gotta keep these zombies alive, man. And also, when we're up on the top right there, did y'all see that invisible zombie? Like you could see the outline of it, so it's fully intentional. It's not like a glitch or anything. Definitely an intentional invisible zombie, and that's his like kind of trait. It scared me a little bit, because I didn't really know where he was, <laughs> even though you can see that thing, man. Freaking great, let's go. And again. I think if you back away, it might do it slightly quicker. We've got two more to place inside of there, and then we'll see what is going on with here as well. One more. Oh, there we go. We're done. Pick up the cylinder. Oh, it's opened this doorway up. Right. We've got a brand new room that we can go inside of, and that's going to be the cylinder right here as well. I'm intrigued what cylinder this is going to be. Nice. Let's freaking go. That was the hero cylinder. Okay, so it looks like we've got another three objectives similar to that to do, so we'll go straight to the next one right now. Potentially go and get a speed caller, I think. I'm just seeing if there's any pickups in that now. Right, I'm gonna go and grab speed caller from this room before we go any further. I'm learning my way around this map, man. I know everything now. <laughs> right, where's speed caller? Is, is it here? It is indeed. Right? Increases. Oh, inc this is stamina. Let's grab stamina. Hell yeah, I think there's different tiers. Is there another tier of them? No, that, oh, okay, I thought it was like a three thing. It's not, so that's the actual syringe that you can see inside of there. You break the glass, pick up the syringe, and then inject, nice. So we've got stamina up right now, and there will be speed cola somewhere as well. I feel like it might be this one over here, down this room to the right-hand side. So we'll go and grab that too, because I'm pretty happy with my weapons right now. And we'll use some miracles soon as well, but I think speed cola might be down here. I remember where our electric cherry is as well. And I'm pretty certain Speed Cola is going to be up here chilling for us. So let's go and grab. Is it Speed Cola? Yeah. Increase speed. Unless that's not Speed Cola. Fast hands. There you go. Nice. GG. GG. Right. Okay. So we got fast hands. We've also got stamina as well. So let's go and make our way 
over to the outside area and go and see if we can find the next cylinder with, with one down. One down right now. Out of four. Out of four. Will the discount still work post stream? Yeah, it will. It will. It will. It will. It, uh, it's a release day uh, special. But I, I don't know how long it's live for the uh, the sale, but it is absolutely for the release of the game. And it releases today, dude. So let's go and have a look at our next cylinder right now. I'm so intrigued about what that uh, that spinning. It kind of looked like it was like a doll, right? I want to see what that does. Oh, the rounds flipped, so now we, we've really got to figure out what this is. This looks like our next one over here. Okay, eliminate the banshees. Holy crap, right. I could really do my tornado effect back right now. I, I'm hoping I'm not on too high of a round to get this done nice and easily. Okay, we've got rid of one of them. We've got stamina, we've got speed holder, we've got jug. And I think we've got double tap. So we've got the main. We've got the mains right there. Holy crap, dude. This is insane. Right, yeah. Back it off. Back it off. We're three down right now. That's another one. That's four. And again, five. Surely. Nice. And that's an insta-kill. We should probably grab that. Start using our pistol if I grab that. Grab it. Thank you. And go pistol. Perfect. Perfect. Is there one more? There must be one. There, there you go. There you go. Melee. Perfect. Cool, right, shoot the metal scarecrows with the thunderbolt. With the thunderbolt? With the thunderbolt. All right, now we've got to figure out what the hell the thunderbolt is. Uh, well, unless it's in that box. Let's go and have a look in that box. Genuinely insane. Let's go and have a look inside of that box to see. God. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Right, what do we get rid of? Pistol. Go. Woo, baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> so we got our first wonder weapon, ladies and gentlemen. We got our first wonder weapon of the playthrough right now. And we've got to shoot the scarecrows inside here. There's four of them that they want me to shoot. I think did, we didn't flip them around. No, we didn't. There's one here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, and man, I think it's only the ones with the... Oh, wait, actually, look at... Oh, my God, look at this! Uh, have I only got two of these? Is there another one? Dude, this is insane. Look at the visuals on this. This looks like a straight-up insane Easter request. There's another one. We got another one, so there's must be one somewhere. Is this it? Missing one. I need to have a good look around for it. It's one with the uh, the little electric thing on it. One more, and it's got to do a full like square kind of thing. So let's just hold up. I don't want to die here, dude. Dude, it's got to be over this side. It's literally got to be over here. It's got to be one of these. Is it this one? No. It's not that one, right? I tell you what, we need to save a zombie so I can have a good look. We save one zombie and get this done. This looks insane. Oh, here it is. There you go. That's all four of them. Look at the visuals on this. Holy crap. Destroy the electric cages with the Thunderbolt. Okay. The electric cages? Right, we're gonna have to have a good look around for the electric cages. I'll tell you what, we save a zombie though. I'm not risking this, we save a zombie. Also, I'm amazed at, uh, at how freaking well these perks are working. I feel so much stronger. Even on round 18, I feel like we're pretty good. Okay, we save. We save. I need to find these cages. Right. Let's have a look around. Electric cages. Destroy electric cages. Right. I guess we're going to go underground. We'll follow the hints on screen and we'll have a look. There is a, I, I, I always like... My brain like gets rid of the things on screen. The hints. Have a look. We can see it down there. Are they just downstairs? Ooh! Oh my god. Right, I want, I want it. I'm so intrigued if we can pack punch this thing as well. Can we pack punch this? Oh no. 
Right, right. I did find double tap. Yeah, I've got jug, double tap, speed cola, and stamina. I have not purchased electric cherry yet, but I think it might be in this room. It might actually want mine now. That's electric cherry there. Yeah, we'll buy electric cherry. Right, that's one done. One of these is done now. I'm gonna buy electric cherry. We got 2,000 points. Let's do it. Perfect. Let's go again. Perfect. That's two gone. Two more to go. I've now got five perks. Oh my god. Make my way to be in a little bit of a perk. I like that. That's another one. And the final one right here. Done. Done. One more. One more shot. Yeah, well, like two more shots, maybe. Perfect. Let's go. Is that it? No. Yes. No. No. One more. There we go. Charge the Tesla coils to unlock the cylinder. Holy crap. Right, we're going to charge the Tesla coils. And there's our pro. Oh, we got to stay inside the circle again. All right, let me go back in there. I need to save a zombie and I can just train one in that tiny area. Let me get that max as well. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not training this dude. There's no way. No way I'm charging someone, that, uh, cha uh, training someone that can shoot stuff at my face. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. The Jebediah Diary note. We stay inside of here. It's going to charge up while we're inside of this area right now as well. Woo! Let's go, dude. Okay. We save this one. We save this one. We're about halfway through. We're looking good. <laughs> double pop. It's, oh, I found double tap. Double pop is the same place that we got pack a bunch from, I think. And it must be three tiers. We could probably go back at some point during this playthrough and go get another one, actually. I'm having so much fun, though, dude. We're already an hour into this, and I'm loving it. It's incredible. Okay, we're done with that. Hell yeah. Pick up the cylinder. This must be our next cylinder. Dude, just look at the visuals, man. There you go. Nice. Right, that's two done. Two to go. Two down. Two to go, my friends. Look at the likes inside of here as well. If you haven't done already, you if you like the look of this, if you're loving the, uh, the look of this game, smash that like button. Show the guys, the guys from Wales Interactive who are inside the chat right now that you're liking the look of this and you want them to keep working on this, giving you more and more DLC. Show them inside of the chat. They're in here. Click that like button, because my goodness, this is fun. Okay. Let's follow. Let's follow. We're only on 920 points, though, so I can't afford to buy anything else yet. Can't even afford that door. Right, I'm going to have to do a round. We're going to have to do a round. My trial is to stop the machine. Well, we need to flip it around and do a round in here and get some points together. Woo! Nick says, give us a zombie counter, and we're golden. I think, I think a zombie's counter is really is, is something that everyone's really enjoyed from, from customs that we've never seen in an actual traditional zombies game. I agree a little bit. I, I don't think it's necessary, but it will help you. Maybe when you get like five zombies left, it will say remain in how many, and then you could be like, okay, we'll easily be able to save a, save a zombie here. Because there has been the odd time, but it's probably because it's just my first playthrough. If I had my first playthrough of a different Zombies game, I'd really struggle to save one zombie, you know? Um, so I'm assuming it's just sad, so. But, yeah, you are right. A zombie counter is something that we took away from Custom Zombies that was a nice addition. I, I, I think if whenever you see, it, like, someone playing a, a normal map with that on, I do think it looks a little bit... I don't know. It, it was slightly out of place. But it, be, it may, maybe not on the screen. Maybe not on screen. Maybe to be able to like do that and bring up your leaderboard, and it'll tell you how many's left on the round. Maybe that way. Maybe. But not necessary. But a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. We take the points in this so I can open. Is that an insta kill? It is indeed. Let's go and grab this real quick. I'll do tornado, dude. Do tornado effect. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Tornado effect with insta kill is freaking insane. <laughs> so good. And there's Wales and Sriatu inside of the chat right now. We love it. I'm having an absolute blast. We save one zombie here, absolutely. I think we're nearly at the end of the round. Maybe. No, nah, we can't. Maybe? Maybe my tornado effects an insta kill will absolutely destroy them. But we got enough money now to get through that doorway, so let's go. Make our way through that now. We'll go and see if we can uh, figure out what we're doing next. We've got two cylinders to go. We're not going that way. We're going to 
this right in the zone. Woo! Too arcadey? Yeah, yeah, you know, I agree with you with that. Absolutely. Yeah, if there's, a, if there's zombies counting. Maybe if there was like, like I said, near the end of a round, maybe. I don't know. Okay, uh, we've already been through it, which is nice. We basically just opened up the entire loop that we need. I'm telling you what, in terms of overall map design for this map here, incredible. I know my way around the entire thing, pretty much. I, if, you, if you told me to go back to the spawn room, I can get back to the spawn room straight away. And it takes a long time for me to traditionally learn that with certain games. Especially with custom maps, my goodness. But you know, this is uh, it's, it's very well made in terms of design of map. Okay, we are gonna go and do our next challenge. We don't wanna rush into it though, so we're gonna save this one. Get rid of that boomer if possible. I'm gonna keep on calling the movies and I flip by accident, so let's go ahead and track down. Let's go and have a look. While I've got a second, we're gonna have a quick look at this. I think I've got a boss zombie for round 20, haven't I? Ooh, acquire the old lantern. We've got an old lantern right now. Interesting. Interesting. Oh no, I've not got it. We need to go and find it. Okay, let's go and find it. It's gotta be up there, right? Acquire the old lantern. That's our next objective right now. Also, one off against the boss. Not brilliant. Wasn't expecting it to be. This guy is an absolute beast. And I'm gonna go and make my way out of here. Go back up to the top real quick. And just see where that other objective is as well. What is this? Once again, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it because it's freaking amazing. This is called Skur Ritual. It's it's spelled S-K-E-R. Ritual. <clears throat> and it's a brand new zombies game. We got the lantern. We got the freaking Oh my god, dude. Let's go. Okay. I have got to say that I reckon I should probably... I, I'm, I'm at the start of round 20, aren't I? I can't run all the way around with the lantern. I've got to place it down, I reckon. Unless we take the risk. Do we risk it? Yeah, it's called Skur Ritual. It's a brand new zombies game with all Easter eggs, boss fights, multiple maps on launch, which is today. It has four, uh, four chapters. No, it's not called chapters. Four maps, basically. Four maps with all Easter eggs and different chapters on there as well, and it's freaking great. From what I'm playing so far, like I said, I didn't want to rush into this. I didn't want to, um, I wonder if I place the power of I better go back right now. We save a zombie. We save a zombie and then we go and do the rest. But I didn't want to rush into this and play it early because the demo's been out for quite a while. I wanted to make sure that I'm experiencing it for the first time on the sponsor stream. And that's exactly what we're getting right now. And I think my overall reaction is it's freaking great. So it takes elements from other games as well. It's not like saying this is this is like just Call of Duty elements. Another element that I'm getting from this game, apart from like like one thing that does kind of remind me of feel-wise is fear. I don't know if anyone else has given that feedback, but really I love the fear series. I played played through all the three fear games on the Xbox 360. And this it feels like a cross between maybe Call of Duty, Fear, and something else, but I can't put my finger on it just now, but it's freaky great. We will save a zombie here, though. I've got my tornado effect to clear out basically the entire round. Oh, no, I've got my lantern. Holy crap. How can I get that back out? Oh, it's just part of my weapons. Nice. Right, it's just part of my weapons invent. At least I don't have to go back for that. It's freaking great. Okay, we save a zombie here, and then we're going to have a look around the, uh, the living quarters. But well, we've got to take this lantern. It's telling me to go and have a look around the living quarters. We've also got five miracles available, so let's see what we can do right now. Speed elixir. In, uh, increase speed, increase melee. Nah, let's do, let's do, ooh, there you go. Increase damage done 3% and lower hit. Yeah, let's do that. And fire tornado. Epic fire tornado. Epic fire tornado, dude. That's by far my favorite thing that we've had inside of the game in terms of uh, a special ability. I'm freaking loving it. Grab that. Triple points, nice. See, that's something we don't ever get to see. Is there an Easter egg apart from the quest? Yeah, absolutely. So another thing is when you finish the quest, when you finish the actual like old, like search quests, there's hidden Easter eggs as well. Do you, want me to, do you want me to read you? Do you want me to read you what it says? I'll read you what it says before we jump back into it. 
what they what they told me on the spreadsheet thing. So you will uh you can know more. So it says if you've ma okay here we go complete. Okay, so this is what your objectives are by the way as a player. So you have two distinct play sets, play styles. You can survive as many rounds as possible, level up weapons, perks, miracles, gain XP for dread levels, and the skur pass rewards. Or you can also complete objectives to unlock level specific special weapons, reveal story, which is going to continued, which continued from made of skur. Uh, and also. If you manage to beat the final boss, you have the option of ending the game or continuing to try your luck at finding the hidden objectives Easter eggs for the ultimate Easter egg hunter. And a special reward will be granted for someone who completes all of the four hidden Easter eggs at the end of these uh, these story missions. So kind of right now, I, I can only, I, maybe I can do the hidden stuff now, I'm not sure, but I can do this, and once I finish this, then we can unlock the main quest, or we can do the main quest. I would assume, maybe, the main quest is already available, but there you go. Dude, it's so freaking great. Am I stuck? No. We're good. We're good. Okay, we save a zombie. How many zombies are left? If I use Tornado, will I finish the round? Screw it. Let's go for it. I forgot. I didn't use my Tornado effect in the right place. Please do not flip the round. I feel like my last zombie is a boomer. Oh well, let's go and have a look around these quarters right now. We'll have a look around these quarters and hopefully manage to find what we need to do with this lantern while we've got one boomer around. This is called Skur Ritual. Once again, Skur Ritual. It is available on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. 20% uh, off if you get the game on PC as of today or the release week potentially uh and 10 percent off on xbox so if you want to get the game on either of the oh hello okay that's number two two okay so uh it kind of looks like zeus with an orb that's number two this is very freaking cool man right so that's two let's so we'll see if we can see any more right now this is very interesting dude got any more. Oh, here's another. That's number four. So right is number four. I'm going to say, oh, here we go. Okay, right is number, okay, that is actually that. That's number four. Two is not that. So we're going to set two up to be correct here. My goodness, so many symbols. Okay, that was number two. Let's go and see if we can find the one and see if we can find three. I love the how how uh, my Easter egg brain is working here, but I also love how lucky I'm getting with this as well. <laughs> Just stumbling across things, I freaking love it. Okay, we found two of the four. I've just been into that room. Yeah, let's go into here. Is there any of this? Not there. Nothing in here. That's the one we already got with that. Let's go ahead. Is this one? It is indeed, right, one is the dragon. One is dragon, and then three is right. Okay, dragon and right, dragon and right, dragon and right, dragon and right, dragon and right. Let's have a look. So dragon. There you go, and I'm right. Done. Ho ho ho, baby, let's go! Oh my god, dude, this is so sick! And there's another one of our cylinders. These strange is it? symbols are a collection of mythical gods, my mother was Right, we've got one more cylinder to go. Also, I've got 12k points, so we could really think about what we want to do here. If we want to get ourselves uh if we want to get ourselves another pack punch, maybe we need to go and have a look how much that is. It might be 15k. Let's go and have a look. We've only one cylinder left to go right now as well. One cylinder to go. You're looking pretty freaking good, dude. Oh my goodness. Click that like button if you haven't done already. If you want to show the team at Wales Interactive who created this game that you actually are loving the look of this and you're going to get it, show them by clicking that like button, man. That, those likes add up to freaking some good love inside of here, man. I'm feeling it. We're going to get 15k. I can Oh! You can back I pack a bunch for five, 5k on the Wonder Weapon. Right, we flipped around by accident. We've got one more cylinder to go. And I pack a punch by accident, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. We need we need some more ammo, and this weapon now looks freaking sick. Let's go and have a look at our very final. I wonder if it is up there. I don't know if there's any way of getting out, is there? 
There might be a way of getting out of here. Let's go and have a look. If there's a way of getting out, that'd be great. I hope there's a way of getting out of here. If not, I might be cornered. We'll see. Am I cornered? Is there a room to the right? There is. Dude, this map is laid out really nicely. It's like, there's no, like, hidden ends or anything like that. It's like, if you, if you, if you go in somewhere, you're going to get to where you need to be. Okay, let's open this up. Okay. Ooh, we're in a brand new area of the map right now. Holy crap. Uh... Oh, oh, we got another... Oh my goodness, we got another doll. Right, question is, how do we how do we power that doll up? What, do we, what did we accidentally do last time? What did we do accidentally do last time to power that doll up? We have another one available right there. We have another doll inside of the map. We've already picked up one. Oh, we're back at spawn. Nice. Okay, it's a full... Dude, nicely laid out map. Really nice. Okay, so how did the hell did we light up that doll? That invisible zombie, man. He needs to go quick. Let's go make our way outside real fast. And then we go and have a look back down here. We need to go and kill quiet ones within the radius of the machine next to their essence. Okay. Let's go see if we can find the machine. I've definitely already run past it. Uh, yeah, let's resupply with ammo with this real quick, just so I've got some available. Let me get down there, man. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. I know, right? How good does it look? This, this, uh, the wonder weapon's called the Thunderbolt. Alright, I'm assuming it's a wonder weapon. The first wonder weapon that I played with right now. The Thunderbolt. We need to go and place these down near that machine. You can't tell me that door behind us isn't the freaking, uh, freaking, uh, Easter egg door. I'm trying to train up and not die. But I also need to get onto that machine if I can. <laughs> so good. Crossplay enabled between Xbox and PlayStation. There you go, chat. There you go. How good is that? That's freaking so good. Well done, Wales. Well done. Okay, let's have a look inside of this area now. And see if we can kill these quiet ones in a minute. I don't think we're inside of this room, are we? Nah, we're not inside of here. Inside of... I don't even think we're in that. Is that a door? Please be a door. It is a door. Good, thank goodness. And there it is, right. Oh my god, look at this. Mother has made these tests to protect the keys to her control. And are almost... Find and destroy the statues in the woodland. Okay, we've got to sacrifice statues. We've got to sacrifice statues. But I also need to try and save a zombie here again. Because my goodness, this is getting insane. Also, my... Look at this! There's so much to look at. And so much making me think... Okay, what, what, what is that? What are we doing? Oh, that is a statue. Nice. Did I accidentally get to destroy it via that boomer? I wonder if the boom, maybe he had something to do with it. We definitely destroyed one there. Let's go again. I got lucky there again. Oh, the boom had nothing to do with it. It's basically just me using the Thunderbolt, I guess. Is that two now? Two, done, nice, GG. So many zombies, they're on round 21 right now. I'm still amazed I've not gone down, to be honest with you. One, two, three, four. We'll use a miracle in a second as well. I don't think we're that far off killing this one either. I'll damage on this enough to get it done. We love the Thunderbolt. We'll get a few more shots on. Two. Three. Three is done. Nice. Right, we've got one more to go. One more to go. One more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Nice. Crack the code. Okay. Uh, should be relatively easy with my Easter egg brain. Let's have a look. Helmet. Mm, right. Uh, 
helmet. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Is it that one or that one? Okay, what else we got? Medusa. Wolf. Right, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm calling these things, but this is going to be Medusa. Which it is already, I think. Maybe not. Now it is. Let's have a look over here. Let's see if we can find a wolfie on here. No. 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 And yes. We good? Was my Easter egg brain not happy? Oh no. What did I do wrong? Let's have a look. Is that, is that a wolf? I can... Let's double check that I got these right. Let's double check that I got these right. That is pointing that way. Oh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's facing towards that got you right. Let's get that. So you can click it from any direction, got you. Okay. So it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's facing towards the one that I wanted it to go to, just because I clicked it on that side. Gotcha. Okay, this, this is another one. So, here's the wolf. It is pointing towards wolf. It is, good. Right, that's pointing towards wolf. Let's go and have a look over here. So this was Medusa. Is it pointing towards Medusa? It is. So I guess it must be this one over here, maybe? It's not pointing towards the correct one. It's pointing towards, yeah, that's why. And there you go, GG. I, I tell you what, I'm just a genius, I'm sorry. My Easter egg brain is very good. Oh, we got a lamb out. Hello, hello lamb. Escort the lamb to the church. Oh, we're running a little escort right now. I'm actually gonna just keep this one zombie alive. Take him to the church. Take him to the church. Take him to the church. Oh. Good luck on nightmare mode. Ugh. Oh, that will absolutely be a future live stream. <laughs> I need practice. I need practice. I feel, feel like I've done okay. 21 rounds right now. Feel good. Absolutely. Yeah, it's Skur Ritual. Skur Ritual. Is this our sacrificial lamb? I'm worried. I'm worried he's just gonna get instantly blown up. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely escort him. If I have to use my, uh, if I have to use my, my tornado ability, we will. Oh, he's here. He's already here. What's gonna happen to this boy? He's going in there, isn't he? The poor little lamb. Right, up next, what we got to get the server cylinder. Is that going to give me my reward now? Oh, here we go. Kill enemies within the radius of this. Easy. Let's back. Let's full train. Full train. Here we go. Here's my here's my experience of uh, being a zombies player right here. It all has led up to this moment right now. Full trainage. Full trainage. Straight inside of this room. Three, two, one. Boom. It didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. <laughs> Maxi right there as well. Let's go for a... Some health. The Thunderbolt can do some dirty work here as well, I guess. We're at 10%. I reckon the full round, but maybe one more. I reckon two full rounds inside of this area. 13% really. filled right there as well. 13% filled. 16% filled. 17% filled. No! <laughs> oh, this is sick though. Holy crap, let's revive myself. I can't believe I took it down. I'm I'm disappointed in myself. I was I was too late on clicking the button of my health. Far too late. I had to buy a life token, but at least we got to experience down in my it kind of look reminds me of afterlife. It reminds me of afterlife mode. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself now. We didn't get a flawless run. We're gonna have to run it back. We need to run it back to get the flawless. But good thing is, you keep all perks though, right? You get your afterlife token and you won't revive yourself. You get all your perks to keep. It's 21% right now. We'll go tornado again. We're 29%. 29% right now. Once again, chat, if you are watching this and enjoying it, this game is called Skur Ritual. 
I think people are putting a lot of labels on the game right now. I've seen a few articles saying that uh, it's the Call of Duty Zombies Killer. I tell you what, if you, if you want a world where they both coincide, holy crap, you've got a lot of zombies coincide. It's freaking great. It's really, really, really good. There's a lot of, uh, I mean, I'm only on the first mission, right? I'm on the first mission. You can see how much I've done already inside of this game. And uh, I've not even discovered half of the stuff. You know, I've not even finished this yet. But, man, I'm having a lot of fun. And once again, it's called Skur Ritual. If you want to play this game super, super easy, all you got to do, you can make your way over to uh, Steam, make your way over to PlayStation or Xbox, and you can get your, you can get it on there. 10% uh, off on Xbox right now, 20% off on Steam. You've got, this isn't even the only level. If you, if you class this as a zombies map, if you class this as a map, there are four full maps. Full four experiences. Four full experiences. And all the experiences have uh, all the quests as well as Easter eggs, boss fights, hidden stuff that you would love to have a look at, you know? I think we should have, if we would have do, done this on a bit of an early round, I don't know, what But where's the pot in that, right? Let's go with this, thank you. We'll train back around one more time, and we'll go and use our tornado effect run. We're almost 50% done on this. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at this, what have we got? Increase the speed of melee now. Let's go with that. Fire tornado again, though. Keep the fire tornado. <laughs> it's too good. Why would you get rid of something if it's not good? Freaking great. 54% collected right now. I think we've got another round on top of this as well. We? We're definitely going to have another round again on top of this to get this finished. Just training around. Gotta keep training. Gotta make sure we don't get hit. 57% complete right now. I'm gonna use our, uh, our Thunderbolt in a second as well. Whoa, 60%. The boomers went off. Triple points. 60% filled. Sixty-two percent filled. It's getting up, man. It's doing good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, nice. My, I can't, it's not my tornado yet. Oh, back yet. I really do with it. I'm on thirteen thousand points. Realistically, I should probably go back once again. Gen has been good. We're on 65% right now. 65! It's so freaking hard, man, to get all this done. Non oh, insta-kill. That's the play. That's the play. That's the play. Yeah, 73%. Let's go. Another round right there with 78% complete. I reckon we go and pack a bunch. Critical stab? Yeah, sure. Oh. oh! Let's go with that. 40 seconds of extra damage, man. Go on. Keep on going. Go on. Go on. Download link inside the description. Absolutely. Seventy-eight percent complete right now. Tornado effect is available. Let's do it. Oh, the miracle right there as well. We're on eighty-one percent complete on this thing right now as well. We're getting close. We're not that far away from finishing. Eighty-four percent. Eighty-four percent. We're gonna have our acid bomb back. There you go. Go again with the acid bomb. Hopefully that will do something. Still at 84. Roll it back round. Go on. I can pack a bunch again. Which I might do. We'll pack a bunch In a second. 84%. I just need my tornado one more time. One more tornado. Or one more insta kill or something will seal the deal here. Holy guacamole! Still 84%! Luckily, I've got my bomb back, so let's go with that. The 
is 73% upgraded to get in our uh, tornado back. 95% good on it as well now to get the tornado back. And it's back. Go! Oh, it's done good! It's 90%, 90% completion of this fill! It is so hard, man. I, this is why doing it on lower rounds would be so much better. 93% done. 96% done. Come on! We're so close! Go on. One more. One more. Four more percent. Go on. 97. 100%! Let's go! Let's get our cylinder. Nice. Objective complete. We now have all the cylinders inside of the map. We save a zombie right here and figure out what our next objective is. We've got all four, put all four cylinders into the podium. Let's go. Let's get down there. Let's get down to the podium. Down to the podium we go, good sir. I also am intrigued about that, uh, that statue that we saw before as well. And why that statue has the ability of being used. Oh, I have my first one I can pick up, or the second one I couldn't. We will figure that out. Go, 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 go. Crossplay between Xbox. Oh. That will open soon, sure. Oh, crap, this is so... I feel like we should pack a bunch. I feel like we should pack a bunch as we go past. I feel like we get the next tier of Thunderbolt. We do the next tier of Thunderbolt. We've got it, right? We have to. Woo! Next tier of Thunderball, baby. Cylinders are in. And now this is escort. We've oh got an no. escort. Power has failed. Quickly, you need to find the backup generator. Backup generator, they say? Okay. We need to play around this round a little bit to save something. This is getting freaking tough. I'm almost considering asking Lucky for a favor over here. I'm going to ask Lucky for a favor. See you later, Sean. But Lucky's going to give me... He owes me a favor! The return of Lucky. The return of Lucky. He's going to give me something good. Go. He gave me a pistol. Brilliant. Thank you, Lucky. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, dude. <laughs> We're going to have another go. I got the dollar, right? Come on, Lucky. Oh. Hello. Take it. We'll pack one, charge you? Thanks, Lucky. You're a freaking legend, dude. Freaking legend. Right, we save a zombie right now. Let's go. And we save that zombie. Let's go and have. Uh, let's go make our way back up here. I guess. Let's go and have a look at that generator over there. Lucky man. He's a, he, he, he was finally a nice boy to me. He was finally a nice boy and gave me a freaking good gun. Name of the game, Skr Ritual. S-K... <laughs> S-K-E-R Ritual. It's available right now on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Steam, current sale for release, which is today's release date, is 10% or 20% off, sorry, and Xbox is 10% off the release. I'm gonna go through here. Let's activate this generator. I'm looking pretty good. Is this S my, uh, an S I feel like I'm escorting this now. I'm definitely escorting. Dude, holy crap! This reminds me of something in particular, and I like it. Extract essence. Extract enough essence to power the ball of balls. Is it from zombies? Yeah, it's from zombies. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely zombies. Cool, dude. Right. I'm on round 25. Round 25. Abraham's in. The dinner plate. Dude, I love the dinner plate weapon. Always have done, always will do. The iron sight, on the other hand, of all, all dinner plate weapons in video games. Slightly, uh, slightly large. It's something I can deal with to have the experience of using the dinner plate. Does this do any damage to him? Maybe a little bit. Not so much. Probably should. Yeah, I was about to say, I probably should leave it, train him around, and then just do like an acid thing on the ground or something. It's 
smoke around here. Let's get one drop right here as well. One out of four of current world records on this map. Hey, you be serious? Wait, are you? What? <laughs> what? One out of four of the current world records on this map. What, round 25? Oh, oh, what? I'm so thick. Let's go. <laughs> no big deal. There we go. I tell you what, I feel like I'm actually pretty good at the game as well. I like a game to make me feel like I'm good at the game. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're genuinely terrible at a game that you want to enjoy. And I feel like I'm actually good. I'm probably not, but I feel great. I feel like I've, I've, I've got everything under control half the time. With the way that I'm playing anyway. I feel like you could easily get overrun at any time, but I feel like I at least feel pretty decent. Looking pretty good, dude. Let's go. Almost done here. Almost done. Triple points as well. Hell yeah. Let's go. Right, is that done? That's got to be close, man. We dropped the acid grenade and everything. I might just have to use the tornado to finish it off. I feel like I shouldn't have got rid of <laughs> my shotgun. Shotgun was helping us out a lot. Also, the music's great. Very atmospheric. Right. Now we've got to escort again. Should be easy enough if we drop our. Uh, when we save us on the we just. Do this. I thought it was gonna go down then. We good, we good, we good, we good. Infinite ammo, baby, let's go. It'd be rude of me not to go ham with the thunderbolt. Right, we save. I'll tell you what, while we got infinite ammo, it kind of be wrong not to try and do some damage to this man. Let's not do anything else. Huh? Don't want to flip the round, man. Just gotta escort it. <laughs> don't flip, me. Don't flip. Nice. At least I managed to get rid of him without accidentally killing the round. Again. Okay. Getting a little bit of a struggle right now as well. A little bit. So I'm just gonna look around until I find it and then go back. Uh, I think there's one on this wall. Yeah, nice. 
Okay. Right, I'm about to the Thunderbolt. We'll just rotate around and go back to that room. Whew. Dude, genuinely incredible. <laughs> it's such a freaking sick map. Do I want to test Lucky? I don't want to test Lucky again. I don't. I don't. Lucky's a nice lad. And I'll get to know him in my spare time. But for right now, Lucky is, uh... He's done the dirty on us too many times, man. Far too many times. I'm not gonna mess around with Lucky. Right, we've made our way back. Let's do Essence over here. Pack a bunch of the gun. I've not got enough. This is, this is, uh... Double packed. This is tier two. This is tier one. So I've not got enough, pack, uh, enough money to pack a bunch of anything yet. I don't know how much tier three will be. Maybe 30k, maybe? I don't know. We're full train right now. Thunderbolt. I'll get the essence and then make it move in. Nice. That's done. We're on escort now. We're on escort. We should be able to save us only now. We save one and we do this. There's not that many. I can probably train these up actually. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Nice. Huge. Gotta go again. Gotta go again. Power failed. Find the core room to... Wait. Bolt power failed. Find the core room to repower. Am I not doing this right? Do I need to find the core room? Or am, I, or am I doing it right? I feel like I'm not doing something right here. Vault power failed. Because I've done this multiple times now, right? Unless I've just got to keep filling this up. If i got to keep filling this up with souls, moving it around, and then eventually it'll get to here and go in. Did it start over here? I mean, it can't go in. There's no trap for it to go in. Ooh. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Have I got something else that I'm flying maybe? Or am I just doing that? I feel like I am just doing that. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'll do another round here and we'll see. We'll do another one here and we'll see. The red light's on the wall. I mean, yeah, well, I think that's my third time I've escorted it, maybe. I'll do it one more time. If this fails this time, then I've, I've done something wrong. Hmm. Round 26, baby. Let's go. Go on. Round 26. Find the core room. Am I actually going to the core room? It stopped at each one. Oh, these lights. Oh, so we're filling these lights up? Yeah, you're right. One, two, three. Then this one, and then that should be it. Got you, so it's four. Four fills, GG. Yeah, huge. Huge. So we're just filling up with the souls, and then once it's filled up, then we extract the essence, and then we... Oh, we, we do the essence, then escort, and then we'll see. We might get lucky at that point. That might be... A bit of a dubby dub at the end of that, but we'll see. Get an East Brain. Dude, you need East Brain brains when you play this game, I'm telling you. You've got to keep them active. Right, one more. Full train right now, and yeah, I'll do Tornado as well to make this go a little bit easier. Do that on the ground. We'll do tornado. Thank you. Let's go. Story complete. Oh, story mission not complete. Open the vault door. Open the vault door. Okay, let's go. That's huge. We've got a maxi over there as well, which I definitely want. We can get to it. Right, good old max ammo, man. Right, we're going to the vault door. I need to try and get through one of these doors before it starts, uh... Before I get bombarded with another zombie spawn. Let's go. Yeah, my advice for you guys tonight, if you haven't done already, download this game. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. My god, I've had fun. 
Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played through this, or the first time I've ever played this, and I am having an absolute blast. Well, here we go. We've got to stay on this spot, I guess. Is it going to go down? It does go down. So it's an end of the round jump, or it's train and get lucky. Might be an end of the round. I think it goes down. We might be able to do a little bit. Maybe get our tornado back. See, just, yeah, let's do that. Actually, I'm intrigued about this pack punch as well. How much is next pack? Or can, can it be a next one? 30k? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got an insta. We got an insta, baby. Insta kill should help us get in there. Is that final? No. Many left, I'm telling you. Let me stay on there. Is that it? No. This is nearly done, but the door's nearly open, so I'm just gonna have to train for a second. I can also use this if I need it. Nice, let's go! Destroy the power. Dude, there's so much to do, it's insane! Right, oh, we got our door open right now to the Chamber of Secrets. Right, we've got to destroy the power coils. There we go. Question is, how do we do that? I shot that one and it closed or something like that. Oh, maybe it chooses which one you can do, maybe? I don't know. Okay, there you go. Dude, this is insane. There is a ridiculous amount of stuff to do in this game. We got some more ammo down there, too. Train up, boy. Train up, boy. We've got this. This feels like it's definitely ramping up to be a finale soon. I wish I had 30k. I would love to see this max out. It's just closed. Let's find the one that's just open there. There you go. I'm one shot on that one. I was gonna risk it, but then I thought I'm gonna die if I try that. There you go, this one as well. Luckily, we do have an ammo machine inside of this room as well. Which we'll definitely have to use in a second. Is this the one that I've only got one left on? I'd shut. Unless it just. Did it just destroy? Yeah, it did. I didn't even shoot it, but I don't know how I managed to get that final little bit of damage done on it right there, but hey, we'll take it. Steady head here, four out of uh, one out of four done. I do every time I get to one, it freaks shots. <laughs> there you go. That one's destroyed as well, man. That one got destroyed. I think like those uh, those doomers might have something to do with it, you know, to make it go a bit quicker, maybe. I don't know. Two out of four done. One. Open up. Only two left to go right now. Only two left to do. They are stubborn. They're taking the time, aren't they? This is Skur Ritual, yeah. Skur Ritual. I strongly advise you guys to check it out. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Available as of right now. April 18th was the release day. What's today's day? It's April 18. Would you, would you have a look at that? Go and check it out. It's freaking unreal. I'm gonna wait for this one. So I'm gonna this oh, no. Side around. Go wait for the next one. I feel like I'm barely done any damage to that one. There you go, three out of the four, just one left to go. Final one to go right now. That's one, take our time, we got this. Knife the, do you want me to knife them? Risky, bad ones on me maybe. 
Nice, let's go. Question is, what now? You did it. Be oh, my boss fight! My great uncle. Abraham. Defeat Abraham. Oh, we have we already had Abraham? I can't remember. I feel like we might be going to boss fight soon. I feel like that might be boss fight coming up now. Oh my god, it's boss fight. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's try. Oh, let's get that. Oh, dude, I need to be careful of his attacks. He can like pull me towards him. Okay, floor. Keep, keep. Let's pay close attention to the floor. I'm not gonna go on one that's lit up. I'm gonna have to train half for image, I think. Maybe. Check out the floor real quick. I do want that page. Let me grab this before I forget to get it. Nice. Is Abraham being damaged yet? Also, my other question is, I'm, I, I'm still actively on a round, so I really don't I, I just want to save these zombies if I can. Should have got a triple pack. What's that? That's like a death thing? Okay, let me, let me, I need to double check this. Don't stand on there. Is it, I'm trying to see what that, why is there a button on there? It's got a picture. Yeah, it's a bomb. Let's not do that. <laughs> it's not what we want. I feel like regardless, is that doing damage? It's doing a little bit. I wish it was a pack punch down in the Oh, we, got it. we do have an ammo machine down in it. I've got it. I reckon, reckon I can't go on the floor when it lights up. Right. I've got a machine. Am I taking damage trying to go on it? Yeah, okay, cool. I fall to the right. Listen to my head, eh? Wish I had triple pack. It would have helped out so much, but we should be all right. Just take our time with this. His head is definitely a weak spot. More damage going when you shoot him in the head. So we'll keep targeting that. It's going down slightly. Get him to walk over the bombs? Good idea. Very crushed bandicoot of you, sir. No, I don't think I did it. I think I activated that. I don't think his damage went down at all. Oh, dude, 2,000 damage from a headshot with this. That's the play. 2,000 damage? Right, headshots with this. Look at that. That's the play right there. 4,000 damage that time. Right, we're going for headshots. 4,000 damage a shot. That's how we get him gone quick. We've got another miracle right here. Should we check our miracles? Have we got anything good that can help me out here? Speed. Hit enemy by 50. Okay, let's go with that. Dude, if I can get 50% extra on this guy. Headshots with the Thunderbolt, man. Oh, the pans on the floor are getting more intricate now. Not separating the room directly in half anymore. But giving you different squares now. I need to go max ammo time. Alright, max ammo time coming up. There you go. Oh, crap. That's not good. Max ammo. Thank you. Not even halfway, man. Okay, almost halfway. That was good. Got a few shots at him right there, and that was brilliant. Off the tiles, man. Off the tiles. Off the tiles! What has he just taken? Oh my god. Machino! 
Let's go, Yoshino! I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for the two. Alright, we're almost halfway. I think soon, because he keeps on interacting with those things that disabled the floor. I think soon I'm going to be forced to go in the middle a lot. Which is going to suck. Not yet, though, but soon, for sure. We're looking pretty good. We're over halfway done right now. Over halfway now. Oh, I got so lucky there. I got so lucky. Let's just chill out for a sec. Alright, regen's health. Good. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Good. I just disabled the floor there as well now. Means I reckon. Oh no. Okay. I reckon this isn't round. I don't think you can flip rounds in here. I think I'm good to get rid of zombies whenever I feel. Let's take our time. We're looking pretty decently. I'd say we're about. I don't know, about three of. Maybe like. Two six left. Very dodgy. Oh my god. Right, good, good, good. Train up. Whoa, dude. There's a maxi there as well. Nice. Put that on. Thank you. Holy crap, man. I just can't find my rhythm now. It's gone. Oh, I've got one afterlife available. Yeah, my rhythm all just, it just it went away from me for a sec. I think I, need, I might have to deal with some zombies actually. His health's gone back to full? Oh, no! Oh, Abraham! Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing? Well, let's get it. Let's get it. We're so freaking close, man. Hi, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, dude. All of a sudden, every ability that I had dissipated from my body. I feel like my perks aren't working. Let's have a look. I don't think my perks are working. They might be, but they feel... Speed Caller doesn't feel as good. Maybe I'm just, uh... I don't know, let's see. I guess I'm gonna have you Can you really a little bit slow? Unsure. It might be one of my uh, miracles if those are that's not on anyone. Okay, at least we know about the headshot trick though. The headshots with this definitely makes it quicker. And at least we got our dollar bills back as well. I wonder if you could. Do you know if you're like in a co-op, could you have someone running around and just taking the bombs out with it? Not? Yeah, you can. Genius. You can have someone just take out the bombs with the guns. Yeah, look at that. That's a huge play. If you're playing co-op, get someone to take them out, I guess. We're almost back halfway again. Almost back halfway here on A-Brown. Right, need to get on Max Ammo quick. You are Max There you are. Straight over here, we got this. Go. Nice. 
more, man. Tornado. Infinite ammo go. That's when we can really start to go for it. Much damage there. I feel like we might have done. I think we did enough. Nice. Okay. Get in there. Almost where we were. I don't think there's another uh I don't think there's another way of getting a revive in here though, something. So I think it's this turn or never oh I'm so screwed. Oh, I'm good. I'm risking this arm. Kill. Obviously, without it being able to work on him, it seems a little bit crazy. Go on. Go on. Seal the deal. Right, surely. One more. Surely. One more spam. One more shot on this man. The fact that I had to do that twice is ridiculous. Oh, so I could go back now and finish the rest of the hidden secrets inside of the map if that's what you want to do. I just feel honored. I feel happy. Oh, my. what's that? Oh, I want it. Dude, it looks like the old goose. Right, let me grab that weapon. Can I pick that weapon up? Can I pick it up? I really want it. I'm not interested in the level. Look at this man. Dude, there's another wonder weapon there. Continue exploring to uncover the mystery of the god killer or use the door to leave. Oh, I want to carry on, but I can't. <laughs> I really want to carry on and have a look at that weapon right there and continue the actual hidden Easter egg inside of that. Look at that wonder weapon. I really, really want it, but I gotta go and get my kids from nursery. So, unfortunately for me, oh, let's exit the level. I should probably wait until we've not got a zombie here. <laughs> Dude, y'all have got so much, by the way, to do when you get this game. My strong advice, y'all, is go and play this freaking game. It's called Skur Ritual. This is only one. One of the four different maps on this game. All of that, two hours playing on this map to get to this point, and I've not even done the hidden Easter egg. I've just done the main quest objective on the map. Two hours, there's a full hidden Easter egg after this to go and do more. And this is map one of four. There's already four available for you to do. Go and get it, have some fun. I want to exit, but I genuinely can't. <laughs> see, I reckon I could do it without dying, right? 
go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. There we go. And the cutscene as well. GG, everybody. GG. <laughs> that was freaking great. That was freaking amazing. Wow. Wow. I, I feel pretty good. I feel very, very happy. Anyway, go and check it out. Holy. Yeah, I'm going to be playing this on, uh, on Steam Live. Not on Steam, on Xbox. I'm going to download it on Xbox. I love you all a lot. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing rest of your day. Oh, uh, Welsh, if you want to send me over an Xbox code, that'd be freaking amazing as well. <laughs> but I'll see you all over on my Xbox if you're playing tonight, or I'll see you. Dude, I won't see you now. I'll see I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Monday. I'm away tomorrow. I'm going I'm going to meet Mr. Dollar JD. I'm going to go and have dinner together. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll see you next week. I love you all. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this game. I'm, I'm going to go and... Uh, I'm gonna go and get my kids from nursery school right now as well. But uh, any of the Xbox guys, add me on Xbox. Or if you're already over there, I'll play with you later, man. It's gonna be freaking great. Love you all a lot. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Love you all. Skur Ritual. Top link inside the description right now. And uh, I love you all a lot. Oh, thank you for sending an Xbox code. I appreciate it a lot. No no San Andreas for me tonight after the kids are in bed. Skur Ritual tonight. I want achievements. Let's go. I'm excited to see what the achievements are as well and how many gamer score I can get tonight. Love you all. Thank you very much for watching chat. A peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>